Hi, welcome back to Forensics. So we're going to try to crack a Lux version one volume here <laughs> using brute force Lux or Hashcat or I don't know, we'll just guess the password. So let's go ahead and get started. First of all, let's create a directory. So I'm gonna make a directory demo. I'm gonna pop into that directory. Then I'm gonna use DD to create a blank disk image using dev zero. So we got output file of dot slash disk dot img and I'm gonna make that one gig so count 1024 and a block size of one meg so right there so that that went great we haven't run out of disk space yet everything's good so we've got that created let's go ahead and low set up that device as a loopback setup so we want to low set up we can do an F for find the first available slot for this disk image when we do that, we can now do a low setup dash L for listing those, and you can see that loop zero is now there. Let's partition that, so we'll do part ed. So part ed dev loop loop zero zero click nice dev loop zero mk label gpt. And then we'll do the same thing with partition part primary ext for zero percent one hundred percent and what that does is it uses the entire gig drive that we have there so not a lot of space there to test that we'll do f this dash l on our dev loop zero and you'll see that we now have a loop zero p1 so partition one next crip setup in crypt setup we'll do a lux format which is just going to make it encrypted we're going to do that dev loop zero p1 now if you're using a usb drive you do not need to go through and type the p1 you can just you can skip the whole part where we create that extra partition on it you can just plug the usb in and wipe out dev sda sdb sdc whatever it is right whatever that thing is if it's an MMC BLK zero, whatever the device is, you don't have to create a partition on it. Uh, we create a partition, so we'd be able to see the partition as we move forward. So let's go ahead and uh, now that we've done that, let's see if we can open this up. So we do a crypt setup, Lux open, just to be sure. Oops. Let's not do that. Let's go back to Lux format and see what version of crypt setup I'm running. <laughs> running version two, okay. So I need to change this to version one and to flip that over, can I read this? Status config, lux format, add key, change key, kill slot, lux thumb. Oh, let's look through here and see if I can find it. Okay, we're actually gonna, we're gonna encrypt this with lux version one. Let's go back to the script setup right here. We're gonna do a dash dash type. Uh, was it Lux one on that? Let's see if that works. So go through. Yes, passphrase. I'm using password as the passphrase here. So password. All right, that should be encrypted. Now let's go ahead and test that. So we'll go to crypt setup. Lux open. We'll do that dev loop zero P1 and we'll call it something like demo. Enter the password and it should be open now. We can check dev mapper to see if it's there. We see that demo is there, so it is present. Now we can go ahead and format that so we can make a file system uh, VFAT or whatever you want. In this case, we'll stick with the Linux theme. We'll go with ext4. And in fact, if we look over on the lab over here, it is not on the screen, is it? Oh, there it is, yes. Um, make file system ext4, and we're naming it demo, and we're gonna go through and do dev mapper demo. Notice we're now referencing dev mapper demo. We're no longer referencing loop 0p1, because now we're formatting inside the encrypted drive. So now we're going dev, everything we do is dev mapper because that's the encrypted drive as it sees it. All right, now we can mount that encrypted drive. So we go dev mapper demo, we pop that over to the mount directory or wherever. 
pop into the mount directory. If we look, we can see lost and found, and we can touch a file and have a file there too. So if we vi that file and say, hello, my pass, password is password. There we go. Oops. Well, that's close enough. So we've got that now and we've got our file. Let's go ahead and pop back over where we were, CD dash, and I'm going to U mount mount. So now we've done that. We're going to drop on down in the lab over here and we're going to say, okay, we're not going to um, delete the low setup. We're going to leave that there. We are going to close demo though. So we are going to go the, the Lux over here, crypt setup, which I can't type. There we go. Nice. Crypt setup, Lux close demo. Now we're going to look at it. So we're going to crypt setup. We're going to do a Lux dump. And we'll do the dev uh, loop back over because demo is gone. We closed it, so it's no longer there. Dev loop zero P1. So we'll look at that. And perfect. Uh, we can see the payload offset in V1. So we're all excited about that. And we'll go through and look at that. It is 4096 there at payload offset. So having no, now that we know that the payload offset is 4096, we can go over here and we can dump that using this command right there. So we'll go through and do the DD, which is convert and copy, but it's DD. So we can just call it data dump. Um, for an input file of dev loop zero P1, output file of in our current directory. So dot slash means in the current directory lux.header, a block size of 512 bytes, and a count of 4097. So that's going to be sure to catch all first two megs of this right off that 4096 there. So we went, we went the extra bit. Now we've got that. We're going to go ahead and try to use our brute force lux app, which if you don't have, go ahead and app get install brute force lux, and be sure that you've got that installed in your system. Let's create a password list. So we'll say echo password into password.list and we can echo or just uh, vi that password.list. Three things you need to know of vi, this escape colon Q exclamation, escape colon WQ and I for insert. Those are only three commands that you have to know. Of course, there are a lot more commands making your life a lot easier. Over here, I press I for insert. Now O would open a new line, but I'm going to put something right in the beginning. So I'll say one, two, three, four, five, six. Then I've got password, hit escape, O for open a new line over here. And I'll say, oh, no, no, password, one, two, three, right? So I got a couple of passwords in there. Not many, but that's fine. We're just doing this as a demonstration. So shouldn't be a problem. Now we've got this password list. Let's go ahead and see how long it takes for brute force lux on my core two duo to crack this. So I'm going to say, yeah, show me every one second, use both threads of my system, use a password list file, and we are going to try to hit the um, Lux header. So let's give that a shot. All right. And there it says, password found password. So we found the password. That's great. So now if we went through and we tried to mount that drive, we can mount that drive with Nemo. We can go in and look at it with Nemo and mount that disk itself. We could just right click it, choose mount that disk. It'll say, what's the password? We would type password and we would then have access to the contents of that disk. So now we've got that there. That is it. If you want to uh, look at Hashcat, Feel free, run through the Hashcat example. Uh, Hashcat's fantastic, it's a wonderful tool. It offers a myriad of options, so feel free to, uh, to dig into Hashcat there as well. Hope that this has been helpful, and I look forward to talking to you next time.